I'm Phyllis. I live in my van. Hello, my tribe. I have a little video for you just to show you what I've been up to the last couple of weeks. I had to go down to Texas, to take care of my son. He was supposed to move into an apartment and then they delayed it. They delayed it again. And my ex had to go back to work. So he moved from the Marriott. He moved my son into a a trash hole so i zipped down from the mountains of colorado to texas to help out my little dude i'm glad i did it but it was hot as you'll see i'm pretty well exhausted i left uh twin lakes about 8 30 this morning and um, I wanted to get one more hour in today, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. But, you know, it's not safe to drive when you're exhausted. I found this picnic area. In Texas, at least, there's a different definition for a picnic area and a rest area. Picnic areas don't have bathrooms and rest areas do. But if you need to spend the night on the road, Picnic areas work out just fine. They usually have picnic tables and dumpsters. And I feel pretty safe in them. I stove out on my little table outside because it's so freaking hot. The sun's gone down, it's still 90 degrees. So I've got some rice cooking and I got um, this frozen shrimp a few days ago, which clearly is not frozen anymore. And hope it's still okay. Let me turn this around just so you can see what I've got. I got that at Walmart. So I'm gonna cook the rice and heat up that shrimp, and that's gonna be my dinner. Sorry for the way I look. I know I look awful, but it's so hot, y'all. <laughs> so hot. It's so hot. I drove all day. But in case y'all wondering about me buying that um, that packaged shrimp, I do buy convenience foods sometimes. I spend about $300 a month on food, um, but I, I'm very frugal and I eat a lot of staples. You know, I cook for myself. I buy rice and sandwich makings, not the pretty stuff of the deli, but you know, that cheap stuff on the, on the side. But I do like to buy one like treat thing at the grocery store when I'm shopping. And this time I got that shrimp. Sometimes I get, um, I love those little slices of cheesecake at Walmart. And um, sometimes I'll buy M&M's. I do love peanut M&M's. 7 a.m., time to hit the road. Water smells good. You smell it? I do. So this is um, leeks and garlic. I'm cooking that in butter. And I've got brown rice noodles cooking in this pot. It's gonna be a very simple dinner. Chris, say hi to the camera. Hello, camera. Oh, Chris, say hello, my tribe. Hello, my tribe. Oh, that was so awesome. They're gonna love that. Oh. So one more minute, cause I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna cook these leeks a little bit longer. And I've got some uh, ginger that I got from Kenzie's. So it's gonna be really simple. Oh my God, it's interesting. I wish, I wish YouTube had smell o vision Put a pretty good amount in there. Cause it's so yum and it goes so well with garlic. I might put a little bit in at the end. But when you have like jarred ground spices, it can help like bloom the flavor if you saute it with your veg. Oh my gosh. Chris, can you smell that? Not from here, I can't. Oh my gosh. I'm going to stop it. So I've got the leeks and onions cooked. 
these beautiful brown rice noodles are cooked. I left some, I drained it mostly, but I left some of the water in because it can kind of thicken your whole dish. And y'all, this is where I am. The cheesy hotel with that wing over there apparently had a fire. <laughs> and that's dinner. And look at that, y'all. You could pay money for that in a restaurant. The liquid I left from the noodles helps to like thicken, make a little sauce. And if it was just for me, I'd add a little rice, wine, vinegar, and a little sugar. Almost like a little sweet and sour sauce. But look at that. That is going to be yum. A very simple dinner cooked in a hotel parking lot. Because my son, what am I cooking? It's 104 right now. So, y'all, the nomad life can be anything you want it to be, including this kind of craziness. Love y'all. I caught a Mormon cricket in Nevada for my son. I've got a video about it. You should check it out. And I've been taking care of that thing to bring it back to my son so he could have it as a pet. And um, little guy, little girl, she lived two days after we got there. So rest in peace, Princess Grace of Monaco, AKA the tank. Oh my God. This is incredible. I told you. I told you, didn't I? She didn't need much convincing, did she? I told you. She's curious about different kinds of food. Oh, are you leaving? She's Bye. Leaving. But you, now you know it can be done. Not my arm. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, You're moving oh, too fast. Don't you want it for the video? Okay, you might. Yeah, she's moving a little fast. Fucking a. You're a curious I little creature, I aren't stop you? Stop swearing, so I can use this video. Well, you can mute the footage. Big girl, how you doing, big girl? If I ever have someone over, I'm gonna say, "Hey, you want a whole tank?" How you doing, big girl? No, if you say that, you you should say. Would you like to meet Princess Grace of Monaco? Cause it sounds so lovely and pretty. Oh my God, dude. My viewer's gonna freak the fuck out. Look, oh, it's, you're not gonna believe how this looks on your hand on the video. Dude. So I finally got my son out of that nasty hotel and moved into his apartment. It was kind of bumpy though but I got it all figured out. There are lots of repairs that had to be done and it was new construction. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you all that parking lot. I thought it was funny that my van fit in that tiny little compact parking space. It's my compact car. I'm back up north again, higher altitude. It's about 80 right here, but gosh, y'all, in the middle of day 80, barely got down to 80 at night when I was in Texas. I'm gonna be headed up higher up into the mountains for the rest of uh, the heat that we have left of the summer. And then I'm probably gonna go back to Texas for a while and I'll be in Quartzsite, Arizona this winter, if any of y'all could plan on being there for all the events. So thank y'all for being here. Thank you for watching. I love you, my tribe. Please consider hitting that like button. Bye.